First, when I before I change the strings, I get the guitar on the bench. If it's st strat, I like to take a look, make sure that the strings are aligned correctly to the neck. In other words, the high E string is not over further towards the edge of the neck than the low E string. And actually, the preference is to have it a little the low E a little bit closer to the edge of the neck, because players with the wide spacing that the strat bridges have will occasionally fall off here. And more about that later on. But I just like to make sure that all that stuff is. Um, Pretty solid, and I'll go and just test the neck plate. Whoops, you got slotted screws on this one. Just to make sure that everything's snug. And one of the reasons that I do the, all this is uh, because if I'm tuning the guitar, I put the strings on, and I have some some tuning issues. I know that has nothing to do with a loose neck, and so I just eliminate that variable from the start. Okay, and then. Taking off the strings, no big deal, obviously. Okay, I tend to put all the strings on through the bridge block. I'm using this method because those of you who don't have a workbench will be using this method. You know, I could easily do it a little bit more efficiently if I use the bench, but this is what you'll have. And probably a good set of basic tools if you, could, if you have a kitchen table where you can do it, your string changing, get yourself a, a telephone book and put it underneath the neck uh, for some of these things that I'm going to show you. Makes it a, a little bit quicker and easier. Now, is there, a, is there a particular set of tools, Ed, that you would recommend people have that are just basic for doing this kind of stuff at home? Well, screwdriver, string winder, all kinds of screwdrivers. Just go and get whatever screwdrivers or Allen wrenches your guitar takes for adjustments, which are pretty readily available at hardware stores. Um, or you can get them through a couple of guitar supply houses. But the really the only specialized tool that I can think of for string changing is uh, going to be your uh, peg winder. That's about it. And then, well, you know, a good set of end cutters. I guess they sell these things, these multiple things at the guitar stores towards called uh, guitar tools or git tools, something like mm -hmm. that. I don't have much personal experience with them. My customers have told me they're they're great. Anyway, um, on a Stratocaster, a lot of the way uh, I string this depends upon how the guitar is going to be used. If it's going to be used, if the tremolo is going to be flat on the body, or if the player is not going to use the tremolo, or if it's a guitar without a tremolo then the string angle over the peg head, over the nut into the gear can be steeper like that than if you're using a tremolo because any down pressure that you put on the nut is, it can be a cause of string hang up in the, in the nut slot when using the tremolo or, and also when bending notes, but mostly when using the tremolo. So with a tremolo type guitar, the main trick that I do, which I didn't see on this guitar, uh, is to cut the string at about two gears, just shy of two gears. And it works out differently on all guitars because the taper of the gear is different, uh, of, the, of the tuner post is different on different models of tuners. So you have to find out how, what works for your guitar. But I stick the thing in the hole, string in the hole, and I kind of feel how much tension I have here. And I'm going to back that out just a hair and move it over to give me a little more. And then I'm going to take the, the this wine and I'm going to go under first, and then I'm going to cross over the string like this. Okay. Now the reason I do that on this string is to decrease the angle of the string into the tuner over the nut, because, like I said, the more down pressure you have in the nut slot with the string, the more the string is going to one wear on the nut and cause the string hang up in the nut when you're using the tremolo. So that'll cause tuning issues.
Gotcha. The only thing that I would caution on this is if you have a 56 Strat uh, and you do this repeatedly with a heavy gauge of string, something like a 52, you can actually snap the tuner right here. This little slot creates a weak point in the tuner. And uh, that with a heavy, heavy string tension, repeated string changes, that's going to... Uh, Going to put some stress on it, and I've seen a couple of them snap. Okay, that's for, and that's solely for guys using heavy strings on a very valuable guitar where you want all your parts to remain original. Right. Nine out of ten guitars, you're not going to have that problem. And this does definitely help tune stability. Great. And let's go on to the next string, and I'll cut that again, almost two, two tuners beyond the first one. Put it in the hole once again feeling this and going, okay, how, how is that going to work out when I bring it around? What I'm looking for here is I'm looking for to bring one wrap under. And that should give me about the same angle. <clears throat> and it does. Oh, that's great. And then the third one, you know, I have to kind of compensate for that. You know, you can end up with, it, with less of an angle over the nut into the uh, tuning gear bushing on some of these, but when I'm, this is pretty much as much as, as I'm going to get. I mean, I can't really take this any higher, otherwise the string is going to come off the end of the tuner. So it's okay to have a little bit less angle, as you'll see, when I install this. And so on. Now the G string is going to require more winds because the angle could be too shallow. And you don't want the angle to be too shallow, otherwise the string can pop out of its slot if it's not correctly seated in the nut with enough down pressure. See right now you've got a situation that this angle is less than this. This is more, this is a little bit more, and this is about the same. So you're trying to equalize the down pressure of the strings at the nut. Got it. Now this one here, B string, I'll do somewhat or unorthodox. I don't stick the string in the hole because a lot of these holes are not machined with sharp edges and they actually won't hold the string. So I'll get a little extra string here and I'll bring the string around and I'll bring it under and then I'll turn it back over itself. So what I actually have is the string locked over itself at the tuner. And I try to, whenever possible, have as little wind around the post as possible. Uh, because the more string you have around the post, the more string there is to slip and go out of tune. Every little bit of the string length is stretching as you wear the strings in or break them in. And that uh, goes for all the string that is around the tuner as well. Got it. Another thing when you get a Strat, a lot of them have the string trees. A lot of them come from the factory like this. So you'll see people take out the little spacer that's in here in order to get more angle out of there. And that does create excessive down pressure on the nut slot from the string, once again, causing the string to hang up in the nut slot. Some people think that if they have more angle like this, over the nut slot into the tuning machines that it changes the sound and it's better. Some people even think that the more string wind you put around the post, the more physical mass it adds to the headstock, and that can change the sound and give you more sustain. I personally think that that's splitting hairs, so if you want to go that route, then you, know, you have to decide that for yourself. But the bottom line about tuning stability is that the less winds you have around the tuning machine post, and the less angle that you have over the nut slot into the tuning machines, the more stable your guitar is going to be so far as tuning, staying in tune. Then I tune it up. I'm going to stretch it out. And I like to stretch it out like this by moving my hand along the string rather than pressing in one, pulling in one place because you'll stretch this area of the string out more if you just pull here. So I'll do a little bit of this. Kind of shake it. That's basic string setup for a Strat.